What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Condor, and Joanna, this isn't really a Call of Duty video. Here. It's Come more of a I'll Perfect Dark video. Rooms. You know, when I found first found out that uh, Perfect Dark was coming out of the Xbox Live Arcade, I was totally stoked. I mean, I got all the missions, all the classic guns, all the tomfoolery, the multiplayer's all there, and uh, I guess as a little added bonus, I get to see Grimshaw and all of his. A bearded, hairy glory. You remember him, right? That nasally little guy? Well, check this out. He's old and bald now. <laughs> but he still is nasal and annoying as ever. Yeah, it kind of pissed me off. Well, this video is going to be more of an update video than anything else. i um, also going to be uh, talking about a couple of things. I did recently record a few new matches on... Uh, on COD, so you're gonna see an episode five of Catch the Condor uh, sooner than later. So, of course, I gotta sift through the kill cam feeds and figure out which one's the best. As a matter of fact, I got a question to post to you guys. What if you did this instead? Um, these would have to be for all the players who saw me in a public match and decided to record a video while doing it. Um, they would have to send responses and send their best kills of me. Um, and post this video response. Do you think that might work, guys? Um, of course, I don't have too many subscribers, so probably not a whole lot of people would know about that. But, <coughs> maybe I think I might change the format of Catch the Condor. Maybe have you guys post video responses, v very short clips. Just show the best kill that you got in a recent match. You know, if I'll take your video responses and, you know, weigh them out and stuff. And, you know, whatever's best, I might pick it. Just leave some comments in my channel or on this video. And anyway, uh, let me show you the classic guns. There's your Clob. There's the DD-44 Dostove. The PP-7. Uh, there's your AR-33 Assault Rifle. Uh, we're going to go here to the AK-37. The uh, Mini Uzi. <laughs> The D5 D five K Deutsch and the uh, P and the P90 submachine gun. So yeah, some of Goldeneye's guns actually made it to the port. Freaking awesome. Um, and kids, um, I got a little extra special treat for you. I actually recorded myself playing the very first mission of this game on Agent Difficulty, and now you are going to see it in all of its glory with commentary. So, enjoy, kids! Okay, we are bursting on the scene. First mission, first level, um, first uh, few minutes of Perfect Dark gameplay through the eyes of your boy Condor. Um, Cutscenes are just as you remember them ten years ago. Uh, dialogue is just as horrible, and, you know... I'll tell you what, though. I mean, if you can get past the shitty dialogue and just focus on the awesome gameplay, I'm telling you, you owe it to yourself as a fan to pick it up. It's freaking sweet. Um, I might actually be playing this a lot more now um, than COD 6. Uh, my Modern Warfare days may soon be coming to an end because I, I also picked up Battlefield Bad Company 2. So, here we go. Um, I'm about to chop off the dropship and take my first steps into the perfect dark world. Uh, and there she goes. And I gotta tell you, the graphics... This is standard def, guys. Standard def. It looks like I'm playing high definition. It's freaking awesome. So there it is. The first iconic few beats. And yeah, first guy to fall to my gun. I'll tell you what. No feeling like it playing a game that you've loved so much and they recreated it it's, I mean it's, there's no other feeling like it okay <clears throat> I feel a little uh, per oh, thank you thank you very much uh, uh, thank you hey buddy how you doing brand new Cadillac <laughs> caught this guy off guard and uh, popped him right in the head so very very nice got an avatar to work for it too so I doubt that it's going to be an Elvis jumpsuit and irony alert <laughs> anybody that knows uh, perfect dark knows that there is an alien in this game in fact named elvis uh, this sequence i was trying to figure out how to change my uh, secondary uh, change the fire mode on my gun i, I walked through the door and i realized it's the right button 
So I could push the right button and go pistol whip. You know what? I'm going to knock on Cassandra's door and just hit her in the face with a pistol. Wham! <laughs> oh my god, that shit never gets old. I don't care who you are. Um, so yeah, um, those of you that are looking for like challenge um, for this type of gameplay, good luck finding it because I'm going to mow these motherfuckers down one by one. Uh, so, I also have to, I also get to introduce you to one of the best features of, uh, of secondary fire. Now, this gun here, the CMP-150, uh, if you, if you, like, um, aim and then lock on a few troopers, it'll lock them, it'll lock on to one by one, and you'll get to, and you'll get to pick them off one by one, and it aims for you, it's freaking auto aim that cod won't touch it's ridiculous so <clears throat> here's a little tip for you kids outdoorsmen while you're out camping um okay that doesn't make any sense but anyway um <clears throat> got a frog in my throat i apologize i just got over a nasty cold too that's kind of one, kind of another reason why i haven't posted anything recently but um yeah there she is and in all of its glory um, if I, if I'm having chilled enough, pick it up, it's, it's well worth it. It's only 800 meters something. Oh, brand new Cadillac. And, um, I'll tell you what, I mean, I thought it was going to be like 1600, but, nope. Uh, the bad boys at Microsoft allowed me to have this game for a mere 800 points. Didn't even have to get any extra money. So, yeah, I popped this dude here, get my double Falcons. You know, you get an achievement for popping one enemy with two guns here in a bit. Check it out. Uh, so I'm going to walk in this room. There he goes. Both barrels. So that's just one enemy with two guns. Uh, you know, and you the only th the only bad thing about this game is you have to crouch twice. Because if you crouch once, you have to crouch again before you're allowed to stand up. I think that's kind of annoying. Um, and Oh! Speaking of controls, there's like there's classic controls for those of you who like the game from ten years ago. There's controls for Halo fanboys and fans, yes. And you, there's also a, constr a control scheme for all the COD kids out there. Uh, so easy to easy to follow. It's um, we're getting near the tail end of the uh, video here. It's not going to take too much longer before I get to the elevator. Um. I'm gonna sh uh, the gameplay's the, my uh, game strategy is kind of gonna fall in the toilet here, but that's fine. Um, just trying to do the lock on and <laughs> don't even bother reloading. I'm just I'm just going all Chuck Norris on these guys. So you won't be able to go Chuck Norris on these guys in Secret Agent or Perfect Agent. Fuck no. If if you think it's gonna be this easy, you know, when you try to hard the levels of the game, you're in for a rude awakening. Um, also, some of the combat challenges I've tried, you know, most of them are easy, but some, oh, there's brand new Cadillac. Like, um, they're pretty hard, too. But overall, just get this game, if, you, if, if you've ever played Perfect Dark when you were a kid, and you had an N64, do yourself a favor, pick this thing up, you will not be disappointed. Um, I promise I'll have a new episode of Catch the Condor up soon. Um, I have to figure out which map I want to use, but, uh, it's your boy Condor, we're out of time, and do your best, too! Catch the condor. Catch you later.